Hi YouTubers, another comic book update. I got a lot of new uh, Marvel comics, I think maybe one or two DC. But a lot of the stuff is, uh, I think stuff that came out this year actually. And I read a quite, you know, quite a few of them, which uh, a lot of them are pretty good. But we'll start with The Punisher, number one, issue one. I don't know if you can see the see his face in the middle and the rest is a skull. But in this comic book there's this uh marine guy that he's helping uh he's helping a drug dealer out and there's these two cops watching him and trying to get enough information to bust him and then they finally do and they want to bust him, but the punisher gets to him first. It's a good comic book. It's, I don't think it's, it's as good as the, the other Marvel comics, but I have. But it's good. I'll probably get uh, get some more issues. Next is Archie vs. Predator. It's it's what you would think. It's about... It's... I don't know. It's a little weird, but... I got it just because uh, Second and Charles knocked it down to a dollar. And still the five ninety nine. Next is A Force, which I really love. This is a, it basically this comic came out. Uh, what is it? The uh, that event, the battle, or something. I can't believe I forgot what it's called. But it's where a bunch of the Marvel female superheroes are in this one area and they have control over the area and they're supposed to protect everybody in the area and uh, some stuff goes down where one of the uh, female superheroes throws a megalodon which is a giant shark over through like this kind of force field which breaks it and when she does that the Thors with an S is what they call them Oh, it's called Battle World. Sorry. <laughs> but Doom is big dog here. And because uh, the female called, I think her name is America or something like that, threw the shark and broke the shield. It's a rule if, you, if that happens, you're basically banished for life. It's a good comic. And I actually bought two of them on a stake. But this is the alternate cover. Next is She-Hulk. Marvel now. It's drawn pretty crazy. It, uh, it's good. It's at, uh, She-Hulk finally gets her own uh, law firm. And she runs into Hellcat. And they go out drinking. And you know stuff happens it's it's kind of like the Punisher one it's 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 good but it's not great Deadpool and the Mercs for money I don't know if you can see him there uh, this is I think this is issue 2 I'm not 100% sure it would be right down there behind the sticker but it's okay it's you know nothing to rave about next is Uncanny X-Men issue one which uh, and this th this kind of reminds me whenever they had the uh, the, the X-Force which was led by Wolverine with Psylocke, Deadpool and all of them in it and Archangel basically it, it starts with Magneto attacking these uh, trucks which are carrying mutants in them and that's basically what it's about. You just find out that he's doing that to uh, release these mutants that have uh, put themselves in a, a state of sleep where they can ride out this, uh, I, f I forgot the name of the mist, the Inhumans released, and it, and it uh, harms mutants, I think. It's been a few days since I read this. It's good. I would love to get the, the, the next issue of it and see what happens. Next is 
Extraordinary X Men number one. Really like this one. I, I think this is my favorite. Well, I, I shouldn't say that yet, but this is one of my favorite ones that I got uh, this week. It's uh, basically Storms like trying to figure out how sh she's gonna run the X Men, and uh, 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 just like with Uncanny X Men, uh, the mist that uh, the uh, Inhumans released. It's affecting all the mutants, and she wants to try to get all the mutants together to uh, keep them safe. But she has to gather more X Men to be on her team, and and they all go around like they go as Colossus, Nightcrawler. Well, they didn't ask Nightcrawler. He and they find Old Man Logan. Really good read. Check it out. Next is Old Man Logan number one. This is the one where. Uh, he is, uh, this isn't the original, or I should say first, Old Man Logan, where he goes and helps Hawkeye try to find the super soldier serum or whatever. This is the one where he's, he wakes up in, uh, in the 616 universe, I think that's, in the regular comics. It's a really good read. Next is Origins 2. It's a, uh, a variant cover. Basically about Wolverine living with wolves and what happens. Really good. Next is Cable and X-Force. Number one. And this Cable, he doesn't have the organic virus. I think that's what it's called. And, uh, and because of that, his powers are more stronger and his mutant power and he can see into the future and basically when he does that he wants to stop what he sees in the future from happening so he gathers up the team here and here's issue two issue three Issue four, issue five, it's even got hope in it, and issue six. The next ones I have not read, but I'm going to try to read them soon. It's The Uncanny Inhumans, issue one. All New Invaders. I think it's uh, one. I'm not 100% sure. Ah, oh, crap. Where's the number at? I'm not 100% sure. But, Invaders. Power Man and Iron Fist one. Avengers AI one. Issue one. A variant cover. Infinity, part five of six. A variant cover. It's about uh, Amanda Strove. I did not know until I read one of the Old Man Logans that he was the Hulk now. This is a uh, big book, just a, about a bunch of his stories. The new Amazing Spider-Man issue one variant cover. Batgirl Convergence, which is number two of two. What if Dazzler had became the Herald of Galactus and Iron Man was trapped in the time of King Arthur? This is issue thirty-three. And Supreme Power Hyperion issue one, two, three, four, five, 
And next is Supreme Power Nighthawk. Number one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Next is Thunderbolts issue one. Got the Winter Soldier there. I actually like the, the other Thunderbolts when they first came out. And so I thought I'd grab that and see how that is. The Infinity Entity, number one. Miserous Deadpool and the Howling Commandos, number three. This is Avengers Arena issue, I think, six. I like the cover. It's Deadpool Killustrated, number three. It's a, a Christmas Carol. See, Deadpool's a ghost. There's Amazing Spider-Man, number 13. And I got two variant covers here. Uh, this is the variant covers number issue 16.1. Got the spider -Man there, and then got this one. Next is What If Infinity Dark Rain issue one. The Green Goblin. The Uncanny Avengers number one. Wolverine, the best there is. One. Two. And four. Next is what if Jessica Jones had joined the Avengers. Conan and Red Sonia. Uh, it's number three. And Swords of Sorrow, Red Sonja, and Jungle Girl. And What If the Watcher Saved the Universe, issue 39. The New Avengers, number one. All new, all different Avengers number four. And Supreme Power number four. And Not Hawk all new. It's Cable. Cable issue 13. And it's the end Marvel number one of six. And I've got six of six. I'm gonna guess this is a variant cover because it's all white. Unless X Men Legacy issue 24, I think. And Hulka number one. I heard this was a good read, so I picked up issue one. Issue two. Issue three, issue four, issue five. And next is Howling Commandos of Shield, number one. And last is Avengers. Oh, crap. 
Avengers AI issue 11. That's all the comments I got this week. Let me know if you read any. Uh, I know this week I got a lot of new stuff like the Marvel, a lot of Marvel Now and stuff that came out this year. But that's only because Second and Charles was dropped all the prices on them to a dollar. But like I said, leave a comment down below. If if you're ready in these, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye. -bye.